Okay, forgive me, there will be some baby involvement in this, but this is a quick tour of 1820 Salter Road. And I don't know what all these plants are. In the front we got some azaleas and some monkey grass. The monkey grass is growing into the azalea bushes a little bit. Probably needs to be addressed. Um, this bush right here blocks the windows to the sunroom. I cut it back and then it grew back, but it needs to probably be addressed. And then here's a couple of azaleas. Grudge. I'm not sure what this bush is. It's kind of grown out of control. And uh, when you pull the car in, it's hitting up against it. I have to trim it back. It doesn't really grow very, um, very many colors on it. You probably know more about than I do. Here's the neighbors. They don't do a whole lot with their yard. Uh, we've got all these azaleas on down through here along the side of the driveway and they bloom really nicely I've had to go in and get rid of all the uh, weeds and the uh, and the ivy that's choking them off so that they would uh, they would bloom better in the spring I have a little crepe myrtle down here that I've kind of let grow um, we've got oh let's make you a little dizzy Got a little bed right here that could use some work uh, and then right next next to it is the beginning of the poison ivy yard they've got over there you got this tree that comes here over the grass so the grass doesn't grow particularly well I uh, don't know what you call that bush down there it has uh, jasmine not jasmine juniper jasmine something like that but it, it grows right there by the mailbox um, we got these crepe myrtles here. There's three of them. Um, they get a little mildewy during the uh, during the summer, uh, kind of easily. Uh, I've got this little stretch here, where I've got these little bushes, and then right here, this pine straw kind of slides down. We got a difficult to manage hill over here. Some grass growing toward the end down here towards the front of the street we have uh, just a big bed of monkey grass all along the street and then over here this is where they did the uh, the gas not the gas on the sewer line so we got all this mess here that I just cut back and then this grass grows decently. God, it's really difficult to mow. You can see how steep it is. Uh, and then there's a bunch of uh, ivy right there. Uh, then we've got uh, this stream of holly bushes along the front here. And you can see this driveway is kind of steep. Ugh. Whew. Kind of tiring here. Let's see And then... Uh, you come up to the front of the house. And here's the yard. This is the yard up here looks great. And you get down in here, and I think the roots maybe of this pine tree have uh, have really hurt the ability to grow grass right in here. It grows decent right there. We got some dead spots here. I need sod or something. Uh, over here we have these two big pine trees which probably could be cut down. They are over this uh, yard here and there's some azaleas back here which have a lot of growth, under undergrowth that come and choke it off. I've had to dig in there a few times. This used to be when I first got this house just nothing but gro overgrowth. And then there's those um, daylilies right there that grow orange. Uh, got the azaleas right here in the front along with, uh, I forget what you call that bush. Uh, it grows pretty wild. Uh, looks nice. Camellias. Um, I've tried to get some uh, monkey grass right there. I didn't quite get it right. And then on the side 
there's a bunch of uh, ivy right there. So that's kind of a tour of the front of the house. And uh, then I'll get you a tour. We'll be back in another video. Okay.